So here's the garage where we keep all of our junk. Main storage, the A bins. These are the B boxes. The smaller knick-knacky items, paperwork. These are the C bins. We're working around the house, that kind of thing. So I keep my inventory in a Google spreadsheet and I could either check it out on a phone like this Or check on a laptop. Okay, so here's a quick overview of the inventory system. We have three tabs. One tab per bin type. So here are the A bins. We have a column for the bin number, a quick tag, two columns for the bin's contents. I decided to go with two columns for contents because it meant less scrolling around and it's more forgiving as far as adding and removing items. Basically the main purpose of this inventory is to give me a general idea of where something might be and that's about it. An example is this bin right here. This bin has t-shirts. If I need a shirt, I go here. What this spreadsheet does not have is an itemized description of every single t-shirt within this bin. So uh, let's see how this works and search for a couple of random things. We'll look at the large bins first. Let's look for a t-shirt. That's a good example. We have A05 here. As you can see, it's full of old t-shirts. So for another example, let's look for a USB cable. It looks like A12 is chock full of them. A treasure trove of crappy USB cables. For another example, let's say we're looking for a Hello Kitty purse. Who doesn't need a Hello Kitty purse? A15? Boom. Hello Kitty purse. So now let's check out the B-bins. Let's look for a padded envelope. Looks like B-12 is where we want to go. A plethora of padded packaging products. And finally, let's go to the C-bins and look for a couple of random items. How's about some power cables? in C07 power cables and to top it off some zip ties and C10 zip tie city the spreadsheet fits my needs because it's pretty easy to to keep up to date I actually looked into using a database for this, but after doing some research, I thought it was a bit of overkill for just a garage inventory. So that's when I decided to stick with the spreadsheet itself. So I hope you've gotten something out of this video and I'll catch you next time.